Hi guys, happy Sunday, and uh, this is Doc here. I just wanted to do one of my Bigger Than Life series. Uh, series, there we go with that wonderful American uh, language that I have a strong grasp on, apparently. Anyway, uh, one in the video series of Bigger Than Life, and today we're going to talk about One for Sorrow by Jamie McKelvey and Company from Distillery Comics. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. All right, guys, so to get started, this is one of the distillery books. So it is a larger, almost magazine-sized format book. Just to give you a little bit of an understanding of the size difference, here is a copy of Absolute Superman Issue 1. And I know that the bag makes it look a little bit bigger than it is, but these books are quite a bit bigger than your normal comics. So... All right, so to dig in here, we have Jamie McKelvey doing the story art and colors with a color assist by Courtney Vokey, and Ariana Maher is doing the letters. So we have gone to Victoria area, England, and this is the story of the magpie. Now, the magpie is a vigilante of sorts, almost like a proto-punisher for the Victorian era, and they, he or she have certain targets that they go after, but nobody understands who they are or why the magpie is searching them out. There's a big cast of characters in this book. There are bartenders and waitresses. There is a clairvoyant doing a seance. There is... Let's see, There's we're finished up with that. There is also Thorn, who is a detective, and he's studying the magpie killer and trying to figure out who he or she is. Um, now we're back at the bar. Let's see. The Nine Bells. And you have Thorn here still looking for information. You have Flo and Bess, who are two of the waitresses at the nine bells and then like I said you have a lot of moving parts in the story and I'm not going to go through all of them but you've got people who have been snookered out of money by the bank you've got people that have been doing the snookering you've got who else do you have all right you have the waitress dropping a glass here you have the waitress, you have this gentleman here, you have his boss, known as Mr. Gallagher. Mr. Gallagher is pretty rough and tumble, but he's also fair. And then towards the end, you see the magpie killer come back again. And like I said, it shows who the magpie killer is but we're not going to get into all that. But like I said, some of the main characters are Madame Hendrikov, who is from Russia. She is the clairvoyant. And you have Bess Turner, who is the one of the um, girls that works at the Nine Bells. And then you have the Magpie. And then you have the, the true identity of who the magpie is. And it shows, through this amazing artwork, through this amazing story, that the magpie was one of six. And everybody was killed except for them in a turn of events that they didn't see coming. So, it's a story of revenge, very much like Taken, very much like something along those lines where someone has been wronged. And in that turn, they now find themselves with the power to revenge upon those who have wronged them and get that revenge for the ones who were taken unjustly. So Distillery, as a company is a really, really strong company and, and puts out a very strong product. I'm happy with 99.9% .9 of the stuff that I've read from them. Actually, one of the few books that I didn't care for was the Come Find Me, an Automal Offering 
that book didn't really do anything for me. It was it was good, but it wasn't great. And most of these other distillery books have been very amazing, just like One for Sorrow. So if you like a story of switching and switchbacks and double crosses and revenge, then One for Sorrow is definitely, definitely needs to be on your reading pile. I don't know how many issues it'll be. Most of these distillery books run three issues, but I think they're trying to expand some of them, like Spectrograph, out to four issues now. So I would definitely say that if you hadn't had a chance to check out Distillery, you can't go wrong with One for Sorrow. Now, that was the main cover that I showed you. It's got a couple of other covers that go along with it, but I would try to locate that either at my local shop or on eBay. All right, thanks, guys. Any comments, any questions? Are you liking Distillery? Do you hate what happened to Comixology? Because I still miss Comixology terribly. Um... I still read books from time to time on Kindle through Amazon, but that's not really what I enjoyed because the Amazon reader, the Kindle reader, is not what Comixology was. Um, the reader from Comixology was just so much stronger. So, And for those of y'all that aren't aware, then Comixology, the new company, Distillery, is brought about from the original founders of the Comixology app that used to be the way that you could get your digital comics every weekend and week out so anyway guys thanks again for joining me i hope you're having a wonderful weekend we got to go back some of us back to work tomorrow so enjoy yourselves be safe out there and catch you in the next video